Welcome back guys to Golden Sun The Lost Age where Fire Jin makes fun of us and pounds us into the ground into the chamber below and we look for a way past to that beam of light which seems to be the plotted point of attack. Attack him from behind where he can notice. However, first of all, we think we found the way through and the fact that we're not even going forward. We're kind of going away from him. We can't get him just yet, but this is the chamber that we will. We want the pound ability, that's for sure. At this point in time, it would make it so easy to get through a lot of areas. Rat Soldier appears and easily disappears from our attack damage. Oh no, he's got a little bit more HP than that, but our agility is just fast enough that we can attack two rounds, can we? We'll keep getting the experience and see if we can head on around and get to the point that we need to. Hello! I think we found our destination point. And if anything to go by, it's here. That's where he fell in. Oh, I can't fall down into it. That's a shame. So we want to fall here? We've got two points to choose from. That fell right on him. And while he's running away, it seems we've got ourselves something really nice and nice. Apart from that, how do we get it? Is it landed over there, is it? Ah, there we go. I thought it was hovering in the sky for a second. As we got the pound cube. Felix gave the pound cube to Jenna. So we now have ourselves the ability to pound. That's cool and all. Equip. And then hit the synergy and shortcut it for the time being. Right, that's the wrong point. I managed to end up in status. Right then, shortcut pound for the time being. And then we'll wonder exactly where we're heading next. Do we head back or do we head after Mr. Jin? That's the question here, because we can now use pound. To pound through areas like there. Cool. Well, check out a new ability and then move on from that point. Let's chase ourselves a fire gin. We can get to him. Oh, really? We can get to him fairly easily, I say. Until I walk off and then fight skeletons. That's what's basically going to happen here. Oh, we didn't have the gin set either. The terror, the terror. Well, Sheba attacks and Jenna will finish off that one as well. So we know that is good. Brilliant. Cool. Echo. Defend, defend. Everything's going to pot. See this fire gin. It got on my nerves so much, and now I can't play the game properly. Or I just couldn't play properly to begin with. Reset. Let's get on upwards. And get that thing. Right, let's check this time. There we go. Step nicely, not falling down. Fire gin, you're gonna be ours. If we can get you, that is. Right, there you are. Of course, you're now gonna escape again. And now I can't get you, so that means I'm going to head back and see if you reset, because plan is obvious. Stop him jumping away is our first port of cool. Works for me, an angle worm appears in the meantime. But we know that we can deal with that. Now, too much issue. Ah, oh, still alive somehow? Well, at least you're not attacking me. Goes down nicely as we get ourselves even more experience. However, we're about to go to battle, of course. And with that said, maybe it'd be nice to set that gin and change your abilities a little bit here, madame, because we're going in versus your element. You can't jump this time, you're stuck to fight me. And you will fight indeed, you won't just join me, that's mean. And hopefully it doesn't get to run away at this point in time. Right, let's go all out and smash this guy down. Echo! We'll keep the gym for the time being. We can always blast for some fire damage here. We can boost defense and we'll just attack in the meantime. Plasma comes down. Let's check our damage. Possibly could go down off the next attack. Possibly. So what we'll do is defend fog and attack here how much damage will fog do 56 but wasn't the finishing blow that we wanted there oh such a shame and we're still getting hit by a ton of guys i don't like that i don't like that at all stop hitting me with loads of spells we'll just take you out then for now we could use mercury in fact but to be honest i think it's down with the next little tap so 58 experience points 93 coins gained and another gin becomes ours. See, I was knew I was somewhere in the region. I knew that I was somewhere near the right HP value, but we found the Mars Ginny Cannon. Right, with that said, we will set Echo, move this one, and then set it as well, which gains 
Nothing really apart from a little bit of HP and attack. Right, strike with the power of Mars is our ability there. So now we've got ourselves a few Jin, but now we still need more to change our class. And that Water Jin is just there going, oh, I can't really use anything. So where does this take me, I wonder? Is this the correct path? Ah, it brings us to here, which we can smash that down. And check out other routes, I guess, if we want to. Now, what kind of element breaks you down? Now that we've got ourselves a fire gym, we can really try that stuff and try it out. Let's see what it does. Cannon breaks through and does do the weakness strike. But it didn't give us the double sound, did it? That's weird. Well, we continue to make our path through. We've been that way. We haven't been... Up, no, we have been up here, haven't we? But that was a dead end. There's no extra treasure to reach up here. Had to check quickly, just because I wasn't too sure. But now we can work out where we're going, and we can really break some people down now, if you know what I mean. Now that we've got one of each, Jin, we can get that double KO going quite nicely. And try to get more items from it as well. Even if we don't use the items at this point in time, like the herbs, we can sell them, make a profit, and turn it into items. It's one way to look at it. Pound that down and head on upwards. I don't think there was anything else special I could get from pounding other things, was there? So we keep on keeping on. Now this is where my memory has failed me. Have we gone past somewhere where we could have pounded and got something good? In the meantime, though, we do exactly the same setup as we did last time to get any extra experience and money we can. Jingo! Howling all over the place. Why would we use normal attacks now if we can do that perfectly and we've got it within the right HP standpoints? And we can break them down in one hit KOs. Okay, that's going to be a way back up, it seems. Where to exactly? Okay, that brings us to that point there, does it? Well, shortcut made. Hopefully that will stay. We'll be able to use that on the way back, no matter what. Right, mini goblin appears. We're going to attack here. Cannon again. Attack. Stone Justice comes out. Will that defeat him? No. The agility dropped. And cannon comes through nicely. Of course, that's not what we wanted. We want Whinging, was it? I don't know myself at this point in time. I just don't know. If we activate Fog... Changes to a swordsman again, so that's not so great. No dual class there. In the meantime, let's top up HP while we're walking around. Everyone's ready to battle after all this way in case a boss does appear. As we've been going through there a fair bit, but we made it through the other side without much of an issue. Now where are we? On the other side next to a beach where a boat is. Hello! East Indra Shore brings us to a boat. Is it our boat? Is it the one that was there? It's Minardi's ship! It is indeed! It floated away to here, did it? I thought it looked familiar. It doesn't look like they sailed here, though. Of course not! They were killed at the lighthouse, weren't they? Do you think it could have drifted here? That's the only logical explanation. Unless Alex took it. Yes, Felix! That would be logical! We had that thingy Satoros had, we could just take their boat. For all we know, the orb is at the bottom of the sea. With them. Well, there's no point in hanging around here all day. Let's go see about finding ourselves a ship we can use. Sure thing, but can we check out this one in the meantime? Is there any gin around? Those are questions in and of themselves, but no, it does not seem like there's a way on. There's definitely a way up to different places, however. Well, what's actually here is another story. It seems to me that we need to get some ice on to check out those barrels. And there's no other way to climb up? No kind of ladder or some such? Well, there's no enemies going to attack us from this side. Maybe we can go around the other way and see. Or maybe we'll be completely barred from... No, we did get over. Okay. There is a ladder up on. So we could check it for items, maybe. There's boxes after all. Maybe there's something nice in here. We didn't get on it before after all, and if it was Satoros and Minardi's ship, you can kind of guarantee that they're 
Must have been some kind of treasure, weaponry, something like that. No? No? Not finding anything at all. This make reveal make it a lot easier. If we climb up here, however, do we find anything? Pressing A sees nothing. Well, there's a door inwards. We'll check out that. Oh, it's held closed by a powerful force, so it seems that there's no treasure to be gained on the ship at all. We did check, though. If I miss something, I bet it's over there. And that lovely douse spot. Not douse. Ice. Just frozen. Freeze it. That's what we want to do. But in the meantime, what's with this weird little passageway? There's a little juts leading me to go, hmm, suspicion. As a will held appears, Willow the Wisps. Right, let's take them down one by one. And well, that'll take one down. And we can easily get to attack the second one, it seems. Stone Justice! And it's strength as well, so we should actually be attacking for weakness points by using Felix's gin. However, we found a cave along our way. As we found Indra Cavern. Now, where does this lead? Well, there's something interesting there, that's for sure. So, we're going to move this. All caves along the way lead us to nice treasures, it seems. As we lash here and easily make our way up and over. Easy puzzle is easy. As we find a stone tablet that brings lots of random text on. And into my noggin, Felix can now summon Zagan. To summon Zagan, one Venus and one Mars standby Jin are needed. So now, before we could only summon ones of the same element depending on power, we can cross-contaminate, I guess I could say. And get lots of ultra specially ones. I don't know how to say it, really. But now we can use new summons, so shall we aim to use it in battle? Let's use the gun as soon as we can. No joke intended. Right then, tons of forest to check out, so we know that we can get some enemies around here. Where are we exactly going at this point? Okay, follow the path. Follow an enemy. Give me an enemy. Someone, enemy. Right, Mini Goblin appears, Rat Soldier appears. Time to summon the gun and see how well it does. Right, apart from that, you may as well attack the others. Any extra damage is fine by me as the gun comes through. A new summon strikes us 54 and 45 damage. Not so brilliant there, but it raises Earth Power and Fire Power as a combo. That's interesting to say the least. Those guys will rejoin themselves now. They'll recover and reset. Too bad we didn't have the water one, because we'd always have that one set at this rate. But tons of forest leads us to find a troll. Hello, Mr. Troll. What would break you down the best? I do wonder, so let's go at it. We have actually Echo as well. Echo and Cannon are our main physical ones. Of course, we can't use any for you, because you're on heals. Echo's not it. Cannon is, and that worked out perfectly. We'll get ourselves that extra damage. Alright then, check the statuses. Experience is getting very close to another level, so as we continue to look through lots of forestry, is there any hidden item here in these little clearings? No. It's a shame. Alright then, more guys up here? Of course they do. But what we want to do is... Well, we'll knock down the other one no matter what. Cannon will take that one. We'll echo this one. To be honest, they're both cannon ones, aren't they? They're both ones I want to cannon. So Echo comes through, breaks that one down. Easily defeated. Cannon breaks that one and gets us a double KO noise. See, this is the thing now. We keep having to re-enter because we can one-shot KO and we don't have to worry about anything. We keep having to re-enter that menu and check things yet again, so... Let's keep on moving on, follow the path, and hope we get somewhere soonish. Right, Mini Goblin, we know exactly what you want. Cannon to the face! Okay, maybe we don't know exactly what you want, but still, you went down. Cannon to the face works. And it doesn't cost us anything, so where are we going again? 
Right, the path leads round to the right, but there's a big weaving path to the left as well. Which way to go? Hmm. Didn't really tell us much more than that. It said to the east though, so maybe it's that way. Well, let's just have a quick look around on the world map and see if we can find a random Venus gin just randomly appearing in our face. Okay then. Take him out as fast as possible is what I say. So again, Echo comes through. We'll use cannon as well. We'll make the summon come out. We'll blast him with plasma. Apart from that, we should do the weakness damage we want. Echo's not going to do too high, but considering it's physical, it's not going to do too badly either. Cannon comes through. The Ginny runs. No escape. Cool the summon as fast as we can. Zagan, break him. Break him down. Thirty-seven damage as he doesn't die. I thought he would. I thought he was definitely on his last legs. He did on his last legs. We fell Venus Ginny, and Felix is now a level nine squire because of it. Does that mean, of course, that Jenna's leveled up as well? No, it doesn't. It seems that Felix overtook Jenna, and we gained ourselves another Jin just from randomly walking around the place. The real question is, am I going the right way? As we find the Ginny Iron. So, that was less in a normal hidden place than what it normally does. Bolster the party's defense we will set. In fact, when this guy recovers, we'll have changed our class and probably got some more synergy due to it. Am I going the right way? Right, now we go and check that out, of course. Right. So, unset. And we basically up our class to knight. We don't gain any new abilities, but we do gain a ton of stats through that. And he's already... Hitting strong physical attacker heights. Mini Goblin, go away. Stone Justice howls. Agility drops, and he goes down. No problem, as Jenna is now a level 9 flame user, gaining lovely stats all around. She was about to level from one more then. Which way am I going to do what now? And why is this precipice out here that looks so tempting? There can't be more than one anyway, so to be honest, we've already got our Ginny. We're not going to get another at this rate. Right then, attack over there, cannon here. Where's the next place? That's what we're wondering. How is that rat still alive? Run away as well. And Shiba has now reached level 9 wins here, so our party are leveling up quite nicely indeed. But where am I going? That's the real question. Alright, so yet again another expansive path, but nothing really in it. Is that all we went for, is to find nothing at all? A rat appears. A tiny rat will take you down. Stone Justice! Will take you down no problem, but where are we going? Where do we want to be? Where is the town of Mabla? It was quite easy considering we had destinations all around us at one point, but hello, we found something here. Apart from the fact a troll appears, and we know that if we go echo, attack, and cannon, everything works out quite nicely for us. Bonus experience, no problem. We can summon Zagan on our next battle, but we've reached Gondawan Cliffs. I don't think this is the way I'm supposed to be going, mind you. Ruff, rough, you say? Dig here, you dig. Ruff! I, I don't have an ability that does that. And it seems, to be honest, to make it further, we need ourselves a our water adept, eh? Apart from that, we find ourselves little bits around, or we pass through not so hard at the moment, we find ourselves a cave. Interesting. I think I'm well off the beaten path, and I should have headed, well, more east rather than the west that I did head, but we found ourselves a gin for it, so I'm not that upset. And will we find ourselves something else? Hello, we've been found! You wanna fight, punk? No one said anything about fighting yet. We haven't done anything to you. And if you think we did, then prove it! Well, I don't even know who you are. I don't know what you might have done. That mat looks suspicious, mind you. Our friends from Kimbomo are coming soon. When they get here, we'll all come say hello. Who are these guys and what did they do? Hey, we're just out here uh, camping. Yep, if you want a good camping, go to Indra. We're just here to, you know, see the sights and stuff. And once our Kibombo warriors swarm over your town, we'll all be real good friends. What? 
Right, something's going on here and it's not so good. I'm uh, from Kubomo. It's uh, nice to meet you. Oh, tents, we're busted. They're onto us, I know it. I never should have launched that raid on Madra without the others. So they're coming to attack Madra. Hey, we're just here to finish what you guys started, okay? You guys are the ones who rammed into our continent and don't you forget it, what? My family lost his entire store of food. Mum's worth, gone in a flash. Well, we'll show those foreigners what happens when they mess with us. So we seem to have stumbled upon something not so good that's been happening to Madra. However, we've gone the opposite way from Madra, so it's time to go all the way back. And we'll get there next episode, guys. We found ourselves extra gins, though. Gained ourselves a class upgrade. A knight there for Felix. We got ourselves more powerful by the time. We need ourselves a dig ability, it seems, though, to continue on with the dog. But heading back out to the world map, it's time for us, I guess, to head all the way over here. Not here, where we headed last time, so... See you next time for more Golden Sun The Lost Age! Bye bye